some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captivate breeding programs even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? Uh, sometimes, just if you look after them and, you know, <laughs> they're cared for. Do you think zoos are useful? Uh, sometimes, because they can save species, but not all the time. What purpose do they serve? They can help endangered animals, like, get more of them. Okay. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs, even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? I think it'd be a good idea, mainly because these, these animals are dying in their own habitat due to predators or climate change. And because they're in a the zoo, they're being kept up, they're being looked after by zookeepers. And they get to, like, they're more healthy in the zoo. Yeah. Do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? The purpose, the purpose that they serve is that they will help an invite, they will help a species, mainly endangered, just to get their breeding going back together and get be back on normal standards again. You heard it here first. First. <laughs> so, Alicia, what's your favourite animal? Um, a dog. Have you ever seen one in a zoo? No. Paige, what's your favourite animal? A cat. Why? Because they're cute and cuddly. My favourite animal is a rabbit. Um, have you ever seen one in an animal? In a zoo? <laughs> Carry on. Um, I've seen wild animal, wild, wild rabbits, but not much pet animals. Hi. <laughs> Um, what, what's your second favourite animal? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> it's a cat. Okay. <laughs> there are currently approximately 8.7 million different species on the planet and we are still discovering new species every week. However, increasing human populations is resulting in loss of species through pollution and destruction of habitats, such as rainforest. Do you think this matters? Yes, because animals deserve to be as good a life as we do. Kay, if you had two minutes to convince, convince someone why should we care, what would you say? I would say you have to care because what would you do in, if you were in this situation. Okay. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around climate change. Do you believe the human activity is making it worse? I do. I think when people are driving cars and they're giving off CO2 emissions, it is warming up the planet and destroying the ozone layer, which does allow harmful UV rays getting in and, well, heating up the planet. Does it really matter if we're losing polar bears and the sea levels rise? Yeah, I mean, first of all, polar bears are very important in the, in the, uh, what's it called, in the habitat and uh, the, what's it called? <laughs> As the sea levels rise, we'll uh, get rid of most of our land and then it'll end up resulting in us not benefiting from anything. Um, so, some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? I think they're used to um, help animals to have a place of their own, but it helps them to adapt to a different place and they try and put the adaptations that they should have. We move species all around the world, some accidentally, some for our personal pleasure to have in our gardens or homes. But if, this, if these non-native species get in the wild, they can outcompete native species, spread disease and cause many imbalances to the native ecosystem. Um, what do you think are the problems of non-native species can cause? I think because they have to adapt to different places and they might just end up working in an area which they're not used to and stuff like that. Should I read that? I don't know what to do. Should I read that? 
There are currently approximately 8.7 million different species on the, on the planet and we are still discovering new species every week. However, increasing human populations is resulting in a loss of, spe a loss of species throughout population and destruction of habitats such as rainforests. Does it matter? Um, yeah, it, it matters because if you, um, say you were at home and um, you were getting them cut down, it's not really fair because then you wouldn't have a home, but how would the animals feel if they didn't? Uh, probably just the same as what she said, and because you, they wouldn't like it if like um, we didn't have a home and they didn't have a home. If you had two minutes to convince someone why we should care, what would you say? I would say that um, that if I don't know um, if, um, that if they um, to convince somebody by saying um, if they if animals couldn't live and then you if you could it's not it's still not fair on the others so um, you might as well just. Um, <laughs> Right, well, if they cut the, down the trees, the monkeys and thing, mon uh, animals won't have, like, homes. And that means if they cut down our uh, houses, that means we wouldn't have a home. Some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from, their, from the wild and start captive breeding programs, even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? No, because otherwise they all have more of a chance of growing up in their adapted area than in another place. Do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? Zoos are very useful because they help us learn about different species of animals which then helps them to survive in the wild. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted is the issues around climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Yes, because we are polluting the area which is killing off all the animals and they have no habitat. Do you, does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea levels rise? Yes, it does matter because this creates flooding and then flooding destroys people's houses. Also, it will make polar bears extinct, which is not good. What can each of us do to help make a difference? We can care about the area, stop littering and stop polluting. We can recycle things, which helps us by using less carbon emissions. In the latest BBC serial series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around climate change. Do you believe humanity activity is making it worse? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> <it's really laughs> um, I think all the electricity is making it worse because it's melting all the snow. I'm asking you a question now. <laughs> does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea levels rise? Yes, it does matter if we lose polar bears because then we won't have um, beautiful creatures in the Arctic and um, it won't be as wonderful. <laughs> what can each of us do to help make a difference? Um, use... What's it called? Use less electricity. Use less like electricity and use more solar power and stuff <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay <laughs> i can just take another one right some species are extremely dangerous in the wild right is it right to take them from the wild and put them in captive breeding programs even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild right Can you repeat the question? <laughs> is it right to take them from the world and start captive breeding programs even in the, if the offspring are able to survive in the world? Right. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> do you think these are useful? What purpose do they serve? Right. Um, yes. Right. Thank you. Conserve me, young sound supporters. Your opinion counts.
reporting from Mizzou. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Yes, because there's more pollution. Yes, because there's more pollution. Um, do you really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea levels rise? Yes, because uh, more people could like drown if the sea levels rise. What can each of us do to help make a difference? Um, Turn off lights and stop. Yeah, and stop going in our car so much. Hello. Do you think it's right to take them from animals from the wild and start captive breeding programs, even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? Um, it's not right to do that because if the baby won't survive, then it's like not right. They should leave them in the wild to breed themselves and then they might be endangered, but I think they'll keep living. Okay, thank you. And do you think zoos are useful? Well, I think they're useful because they can look after animals that can't like survive in the wild. So, yeah, I think they're wild. Um, they're good for zoos, but they're not good for breeding because the animals can't survive on their own, but they're good for looking after the animals who can't survive on their own anyway. Okay, and what purpose do you think they serve? I think they serve the purpose for like people to come and like look and be interested in the animals, but um, they also like look after animals who can't survive on their own. Well, thank you. Some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs, even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? It's bad because they should be in the wilds. Do you think zoos, zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? Zoos are quite useful because they like breed all the endangered, endangered animals and everything. Thank you. Some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from the wild and start to capture breeding programs? Even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? What do you think? I just think it's right that they should be bred in captivity. If they should do it naturally, only if they need some help, then they should do it in the zoos. Very well answered. And do you think zoos are useful? Yes, because some that are endangered and they can't, they're getting hunted or something, then they can be bred in, the, in zoos so that they can survive for longer. Is that your opinion on their purpose? Yes. Back to you in the studio. Some species are extremely d endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? No, it's not right because being in captivity will damage the species. Do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? I think zoos are useful because they're fun and you can see loads of animals. Hello. <laughs> Do you think zoos are useful? Yes, I know because they're using the animals out of the real ha habitat. What purpose do they serve? For people to look at them. And food and drink and a good life. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captivate breeding programs even if the offspring will never be able to serve the, in the wild? Survive the wild? No, because it's not fair on the animals. Good answer. Yeah, and no, because people will help them and no because they're taken out of the habitat. Some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them for the wild and start captive, captive breeding programs even? If the offspring will, will never... He wants to kill him. He wants to um. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around cl climate change. Do you believe do you believe human activity is making it worse? 
Um, yes, I do because. Uh, Yes, I do because um, well, human act activity is pretty much raising the ice caps in uh, the f you know Antarctica, and this really has a big impact on global warming. So yeah, I think human impact does. Okay. Do you think zoos are useful? Do you think zoos are useful? I think they are useful as um, they do really protect the animals in a really pretty um, good way. They do provide them food and uh, other habitats that will actually support them in wild. We, we move species or wait, oh. What do you think the, are the problems non-native species can cause? I didn't quite catch you. What do you think that are the problems of pro are the problems non-native species can cause? I think that they won't be used to the environment because they are from a different habitat and uh, lots of things. They don't know what food to eat. Yeah. So thank you. Well, some you know when sometimes people drop things onto the floor like littering. I'm fed up of that because, well, innocent creatures could get trapped in there and die. Well, the thing I wanted to do was like get people to pick them up and put it in a bin and that. And well, people even think about horrible things about animals. Well, well, wolves. People think they are vicious and horrible. Well, actually, they're really shy and peaceful creatures. If you keep away from them, then they won't harm you. But people actually think that they're going to run up to you and kill you. But they're not. They're just really shy. And people just kill them for the fun of it. Because people just think they're not really friendly. Well, you can say the same thing about butterflies. Oh my god, it's going to kill me. It's not. It's harmless. As long as if you stay away from its cubs and family, then it won't hurt you. Gonna, not going to hurt you, but that's all. Hello, we're going to ask you some, a few questions about zoos, okay? So, do you think zoos are a good idea? Well, I think they're a really good idea because it helps other people to learn about other animals in different regions and everything, but then I'm also kind of against it because I don't feel uh, um, that when they go out in the wild they won't be able to protect themselves because they're predators, okay? So, is there anyone who is strongly against zoos? Uh, I think zoos are good, but I don't think animals uh, are used to their natural habitat and they're being taken away from that. So when they go back, they're just like, they're not very sure on what to do and it's quite dangerous for them. Mm. Yeah, I'm quite for zoos, so I'm not going to say that I'm against them because I think they're a good way to help breed endangered species and keep them safe. And what do you think? I think they're good and they make um, good entertainment for people to come and see and it's good so people can learn about the animals. So you think zoos are good for entertainment? Yeah, because it, it gives a good family day out for people to come and see all the animals. So it's not unfair when the animals? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? Well, I think it's quite important to keep the species alive and keep the species going, even if it is in captivity. Um, yeah, I probably agree with Caitlin that it's good to keep the breed going, but they should also release them back into the wild after they've bred them. They should start um, a wild breeding program too, so that they will be able to be let into the wild rather than just staying the uh, rest of their lives in captivity. Do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? Well, I do think that zoos are very useful because they'll, they teach young children about animals that they may not learn about at school. And the 
They do serve an important purpose in keeping species going. Yeah, I think it's very important because it teaches young children about endangered animals so that they can help support the cause and keep the animals alive. Also, if you live in a large city like I did when I was younger, um, you don't get to see much wildlife. So having a zoo around is really useful and um, it teaches you more about the world than you would learn just in the city. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Um, I do believe that because, well, the cars and everything is making, it's polluting the earth, it's making a hole in the ozone lane, which means the, the sun rays can come down and m make it hotter and melt the icebergs. Re it's really bad. And does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea level rises? It does a lot. Sea level rises, islands get lost, um, and the more it rises, the bigger the islands get. They could all dr we could all drown. And what can each of us do to help it make make a difference? Bike, walk. Don't use the bus or the car all the time. Just use it every now and then. Don't go straight for the car if it's cold. Just w get something very warm and. Like walk. Hello. Some species are extremely de endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs, even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? Um. Yes, I think it is because then we can, the species won't die out. And do you think zoos are useful? Well, yes, because um, they can like help people, like you're saying about the captive breeding. Um being a dangerous species can like come be built back up and also because people can see like if someone sees a tiger in a zoo they might be inspired to like support a charity of tigers or something and what purpose do they serve i think the purpose they serve is that in the wild most animals might die but in captivity they live longer and breed more thank you some species are extremely endangered in the wild is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs even in the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? Give it to there. Give it to there. No. Why? Because we all breed the same air. They're animals, we're humans. They're still alive, aren't they? Yeah, very true. I agree with Zoya because I don't think it's right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs because it's dangerous for them as well. Do you think the zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? They are, but sometimes they aren't either because a lot of animals need freedoms, uh, freedom, but sometimes they don't even get that either. They are? You just go and look at the animals as long as they don't treat them bad. That's fine. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? Yes, I do. I think it will help them and make them have a better life. Um, yeah, because um, if they're extremely endangered, then yes, because otherwise you'll never be able to keep that species going. Um, yeah, because like they'll have a better life, and only if they're treated like fairly. Do you think zoos are helpful? What purpose do they serve? I think they are helpful. I think it's good that they can protect and keep uh, a species of animals' life. Um, they are quite helpful because, like, for breeding and stuff, if they're endangered. I think they're helpful, but I think too many people visit them, and it's more of an attraction for people than helping animals. Um. Zoos are getting better now and they're treating them and they're treating them better so yeah. I think zoos are helpful because they support the animal but the habitat has got to be good enough. Some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs even if the offspring will be able will be a, never be able to survive in the wild? 
Well, we need to keep some species of animals in the wild so that they can carry on breeding where their natural habitats are. But if we leave all of them in the wild, they may happen to get extinct. And if we took all the animals from the wild, then they'd probably die out in the wild and only be instructed to live in zoos. Do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? Yes, I do think they're useful because if, if loads of animals were in the wild, then um, not many of them will, will be seen and uh, maybe not even heard of. I think um, zoos are useful because they um because it will let some people look at the animals that they probably some people may have never experienced or seen before sometimes zoos can get ahead of themselves and take more animals from the wild than they should thank you hello and my favorite animal is a dog and the reason why is because they're fluffy and they are playful what's yours my favourite animal is a tiger because they're cute and they, they like to kill animals. And <laughs> My favourite animal is a, a leopard because I like the spots. <laughs> uh, my favourite animal <laughs> is a penguin because I like how they walk. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> There are currently approximately 8.7 million different species on the planet and we are still discovering new species every day. However, increasing human populations is resulting in the loss of species through, through population and the destruction of habitats such as rainforests. Does this matter, Ambika? Well, it matters because what if we didn't have a habitat? What would we do about the pollution and everything? We have to do something about it. Um, so? Um, it matters because um, animals are just the same as humans and if we were left by ourselves with no habitat or no home to live in we would feel exactly the same as animals would. Yeah. Um, I also think that if you had two minutes to convince someone why we should care it would be because hab humans are the same as animals and we shouldn't treat animals as if they are any less than us or they're any less unfortunate and they deserve a much better habitat than they are getting at the moment. In the latest BBC series called Frozen the Planet, they highlighted the issues around climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Uh, yes, I do believe uh, human activity is making it worse because, um, because uh, if we're going there hunting and bringing these polar bears back, it's going gonna, it's gonna to slowly cause an extinction. So it is, it is us. We are, we, are making a, we are making a bad difference in the Arctic. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea levels rise? Yes, it is important because polar bears are a key thing in the Arctic uh, food chain because it's at the top predator. If if the polar bears aren't if the polar bears aren't there, it's it's, it's going to change the environment. It's going to change the environment. If the sea if sea levels are rising, not only the polar bears will be wiped out, but other species, important species that makes up the Antarctic food chain, will be dis will be disappeared. So, what can each of us do to make a difference? Well, firstly, we can cut down the carbon emissions each and every one of us are producing. Uh, we need to we need to invest more of our more of our money into um, the Ar into the Arctic because if, if if we invest more, I mean, such as this frozen planet series, could, I mean, I mean, we could have that money could have been invested in helping polar bears in their in their in helping their breed to survive. So. It's really what we need to do is sit down and we need to have a detailed discussion about how, how we can do. But firstly, everyone, each of us can just cut down on the carbon emissions they're making because sea levels rising are just going to cause them to die out. Thank you for talking with us. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around climate change. Do you believe human acti activity is making it worse? Are you kidding? Of course. I mean, it, without humans, there wouldn't be as much carbon dioxide being given off um, through um, uses of electricity and energy used. So if there weren't humans, then we wouldn't be wasting nearly as much energy. Right, well, thank you for that. Um, so do you think, does it really matter if we lose polar bears and sea levels rise? Of course. Who's to say that the humans are more important than the whole polar bears? I mean, 
you wouldn't like it if suddenly we were losing loads of humans and um, if the sea levels rise then it will change the whole planet and everything will um, die out and stuff eventually so it's not a good thing so what can each of us do to help make a difference well, if you save a little bit of energy every day, everybody put together would make a huge difference. If you just turned off the TV when you're not watching it and didn't waste water when you're taking a shower, then you could save a lot. Well, thank you for that advice there. Thank you very much for talking to me now. Thank you. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around the climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Yes, I do, because of all the pollution from the factories and everyone driving their cars when it's not necessary. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea level rises? Yes, it does matter when we um, lose polar bears because eventually they could they could become extinct and it wouldn't interfere it would never happen in the first place and with the sea levels rising eventually it would have an impact on us humans what can we what can each of us do to help make a difference we could do small things like recycling or lift sharing and <laughs> walking instead of or instead of using a car in the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Well, yes, because yes, because um, we are doing lots to affect it, and um, we aren't helping it. And plus, global warming isn't helping either. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and sea sea levels rise? Yes, because polar bears are part of our environment, so if we didn't have them, nothing would really run the same, if, even if they are only a small part. What can each of us do to help make a difference? Well, the smallest thing can make a big difference, so if everybody tried to cut down on electricity, turn off the lights, or use less water, it would make a big difference. Thank you. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted, they highlighted the issues around climate change. Do you believe that humanity, human activity is making it worse? Yes, I do, because all the cars are polluting the earth and c creating CO2, which is damaged in our ozone layer, which is going to make the world much, 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 much harder to live in the future. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea level rise? Yes, because polar bear, cause if the sea rises, all of the land mass will go and we'll have nowhere to live really. P places like Pakistan will just go. What can each of us do to help make a difference? Well, we can stop polluting the earth by cutting down on our cars and like sharing cars to make the world a better place. Okay, thank you. Hello and welcome to BBC News. Today's topic is Conserve Me. We are here in the Arctic and I'm going to speak to wildlife preserver Anna Heater. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlight the issues around climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Yes, yeah, certainly, since... Well, as... <laughs> Well, I, I certainly do, since as the years go by, we're just polluting the planet more, and for in all, in lots of different ways. And I don't re and I don't think people actually know how they're doing this. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea levels rise? I think it does, because obviously we're losing one very well-known species. So I think. It would really make a difference and I think we need to try as hard as we can to resolve it. What can each of us do to help make a difference? Well, we can try and cut back on polluting the planet in many different ways. This could be like maybe by not using cars as much rather than going on um, public transport. This has been BBC News, back to the studio. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around the climate change. 
Um, do you believe that humans activity make making it worse? Okay. Do I read the second question? No, do you just answer the question. Okay. Then what was the question? Um, making it worse, humans activity making it worse. Do you think it's making it worse? Yeah, it is making it so worse because how cold people can suffer and so many more stuff could happen in the freezing cold. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea level rises? Yes, because polar bears are really important and if, if we lose a, an animal then it's like losing a person. Um, um, what can each of us do to help make a difference? Okay. We can um, sponsor stuff for them and um, get help help them by um, give them food, stuff, stuff, what they need and stuff. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around the climate change. Do do you believe human activity is making it worse? Well, of course I think so because there is so many human there's so much human um, there's so many humans worldwide. So I think of course that can be changing. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea levels rise? Well, in a way, polar bears can be good, but in a way, they can be bad. But I think we do need to keep polar bears going as they could one day be extinct. Okay, and sea levels? Um, I think sea levels are really bad because they keep rising. Why? Because there's like so much ice which is melting down from the Arctic and it's just going into all the seas. What can, what can each of us do to help make a difference? Well, just really make the world a bit eco-friendly. How? Um, well, just recycle so that we can use stuff over and over again. Okay, thank you. For Some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs even if the offspring will never be able to serve it in the wild? I don't think so because creatures shouldn't be treat creatures should creatures shouldn't be moved from the from the wild because it's their natural um uh, yeah cuz they it's it's, it's, a, it's their natural habitat do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? I don't think zoos are useful because although some, although although some people like to watch animals and stuff, um, they're not in their natural habitat, so they start getting dangerous, like lions and monkeys and stuff. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted it, the issues around climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Absolutely. All the electricity we've been using is creating lots of pollution, polluting our air and, change, and melting all the icebergs. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea level rises? Absolutely. To sea towns might be engulfed if it keeps going on. And polar bears are most graceful creatures of the Antarctic. What what can each of us do to make help us make a difference? Well, there isn't really much but stop you turn your TVs off when you go out, turn all plugs off, try not to use as much electricity as normal and go outside and enjoy the wilderness. Some species are extremely endangered in the world. Is it right to take them from the world and start captive breeding programs, even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? What do you think? I think it's okay in some ways, but we still need some of them species to be alive. Oh, because they you never know, they could be the source of future things in life. That's an excellent answer. Why do you why do you think zoos could be zoos could be useful? Some advantages, some disadvantages to zoos. Um, zoos could be useful to keep the particular species of animals alive. So, like 
biologists can find the genes and that to like say if you found a different species of animals to see if they're related or anything with the DNA and the disadvantages like they could they could like be really nasty to the keepers and harm them and stuff great answer so do you think that there are other purposes to zoos so such as education yeah yeah I think there is education in there because like the zookeepers find out more stuff every single day about the animals and then they share their information with us which in return helps us learn is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? I think sometimes, yes, it's really necessary because it could soon be the only uh, species left in, of this kind. But sometimes, I think maybe it's not necessary right, if they have to be taken from the wild. But do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? I think zoos are excellent, but when you release them out into the wild, you've got to make sure they're ready to go. Thank you. <laughs> so Avatar, what do you think about the polar bears being extinct? I think it is very, very bad and they should not be extinct. <laughs> oh, this is so cold, but I can't speak why tongue is frozen. So what do you think about the glaciers warming up in the global warming of ours? It's going to be very bad for the world. I can tell. After? Very, very bad. It should be frozen, not melting. So do you think the global warming and the, and the polar bears have something in common? Probably. Huh? Maybe the fur from the polar bears is making global warming even warmer. Jabbar, why don't you ask a question? Okay. Do you think all the cars of the cities everywhere are affecting global warming terribly? Yes. Very much, yes. And do you think that the world could end due to global warming? Yes, yes I do. Possibly, yes. Oh, me too. Here is Leon. He um, he thinks he doesn't like zoos. Leon, can you please tell us why? Well, I don't like zoos because they're cruel. They keep animals in cages which need to be free in the wild. What are your opinions on it? Well, that is a very good answer, Leon. Uh, well, how about you, Lucas? What do you think? I think that zoos are bad because they keep animals in places and they don't get to do anything. Same reason as Leon. Let's see what Daniel has to say. Zoos are good because they keep animals a plus and they can um, protect, like if they come out they're going to kill humans. Very good. It looks like Mohammed is looks like to say a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not sure yet. Good. Zoos are good because when when you see different animals that have, that you haven't seen before in different countries, but they keep animals, which is cruel. So, but it's good. We are now finished. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captive breeding programs, even in the offspring, will never be able to survive in the wild? Well, we don't know that, but maybe it could be it could be that um, if we let the animals go, they don't know how to survive on their own. But if they're in danger or we need to um, make them stronger, we can use them as somebody to as to look after them and make sure that they're okay. Do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? Say it again. Say it again. Do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? Um, they they stay in the zoo for um, if they're not 
strong or if we need to look after them we can um, help them to survive when they're near close to dying. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Daphne Tippin and I'm here with you in Selby Sutherland. It's quite cold here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Do you believe... Hu now we're going to talk about climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Yes. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and sea levels rise? It does matter because that means we're losing a lot of species of animal. What can each of us do to help make a difference? Um, let's say stop using loads of energy. Hello, my name is Ewan Selby Sutherland and we are interviewing... Bethany. Okay, Bethany. So, some species are really becoming endangered in zoos. What do you think about this? Like... Sometimes they become endangered, like, outside of the zoos. So if they're in zoos, it's easier because then they've got proper care. Yeah, and do you prefer them to be in zoos or in the wild? I've got to say a bit of both, because in zoos, they can be well looked after, but if they're in the wild, they're not in a cage and not, they can move wherever they want to. Thank you. Hiya, my name is Enya Phillips and we are interviewing Amy White. So, we move species all around the world, some accidentally, some for our personal pleasure, to have in our garden or homes. But if these non-native species get in the wild, they can out complete native speci species right. spread disease and cause many imbalances to the native ecosystem what do you think are the problems non-native species can cause well I think it's because people cutting down the trees all the time when there's animals in there how can we make people more aware of this by doing posters and doing elections <laughs> and things okay that's it for today bye is it right to take them from the world and start captive breed some, some species are extremely endangered in the world is it right to take them from the world and start captive breeding programs even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild by taking them out of the wild we are saving their lives as if they were still in the wild, then they had a chance of not surviving. However, when they are not in the wild, they are not in danger and they get used to a luxurious life. And by putting them back in the wild, you have, they have to defend for themselves, which is putting them at danger and making the population at danger. Do you think zoos, zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? Zoos are useful because they're helping animals who can't defend themselves in the wild to have a home and animals that they don't have too much pressure on to defend themselves each day. Animal, older animals that can't fight anymore have a home and it's a safe place. My favourite animal is a cat because they're easy to play with and they're cute. What's your favourite animal? My favourite animal is a horse because they're big and they're soft. What's your favourite animal? My favourite animal is a giraffe <laughs> because they're tall and giraffey. What's your favourite animal? My favourite animal is a dolphin because I really like swimming and that's what they do. Khadija, what is your favourite animal? My favourite animal is a bear because they're cute and strong. This programme is about the zoos and we, we will be asking these people what they think. Okay, um, what do you think about the breeding programs? Um, it's cool because you get different animals. Okay, and what do you think about keep, keeping the animals extinct? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, about keeping them extinct, that's not what I'm supposed to be. 
Keeping what? them extinct, you did that before. No. Fine. Right, what do you think about keeping them extinct? Well, well, I don't think it's a very good idea because then no one will be able to study them and we'll lose. Like, so you're glad that the animals won't be extinct and they're keeping them in their natural habitat? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go over to Georgia. <laughs> now, um, what do you think about the animals um, in their natural habitat and being in their natural home? I think it's good that they're being in their natural habitat, but maybe because they're in enclosures in the zoo, they, they don't have as much of their natural habitat as they need. So you don't like it or you do like it? It's a bit of both, to be honest. 50-50? Okay, and that is the end of the show. Hello, today we're going to be talking about how do you think zoos are useful and what purpose do they serve? Today we're going to ask, be asking someone named Molly, Mrs. Summers, Mrs. Manley and <laughs> Mr. Hand. First we're going to go to Molly and see what she thinks about it. So, Molly, what do you think about it? I think zoos are very good for education because you can learn more about animals. Do you think zoos are right to be in that place? Yeah, because pe uh, because the animals can be locked uh, um, have more. <laughs> Thank you, Molly. Moving on. What do you think about it, Megan? I think zoos are a stupid idea because. Um, they're only there to look at the animals and they're not there for any ed educational use and if you want to go and look at animals you could just go to safari. Thank you. We move species all around the world, some accidentally, some for our personal pleasure. We have to have in our gardens or homes, but if these non-native species get in the wild they can outcompete native species, spread disease and cause many imbalances to the native ecosystem. What do you think are the problems non-native species can cause? They can kill off some of the native species and eat all the food of the natives and... Um, How can we make people more aware? Put adverts on TV on radio stations, put posters up and, and get the WFF Okay. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? I I don't think human act. Well, I don't have a clue. <laughs> mm, yeah, I think it's I think it is because of all the electricity and all the fumes we're giving off, making it worse. And the humans like body heat, it's interacting with the ice and the and it's like making it warmer. <laughs> Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and, and the sea levels rise? Yes, because um, if the polar bears go, they're going to be extinct and nobody can actually know about them in the future then. I agree. I don't want to drown. What can each of us do to help make a difference? What was the question? What can each of us do to help make a difference? Um, for the global warming, um, cut down on, like, uh, walk more places instead of using your car and go green. <laughs> cut down on our carbon footprint. Recycle and reuse stuff. Mm, good. Uh, Hello, welcome to Wild Express. We have three customers to come today. Our first one is Jack Madden. Hi. Hey, Jack. Help. Now, can I ask, what is your favourite animal? Maybe a lion. Why do you like this lion, hey? The first animals. Do you like first animals? Yeah. Now. What age was you when you first liked this animal? Six. Okay. Well, thank you, Jack Madden. Please, would you like to lead yourself out? Now, our second guest is Robert Cook. Hello, Robert. Hello. 
Now, what is your favourite animal? The cheetah. Why is it the cheetah? Because they're extremely fast and I like their colours. What age was you when you liked this cheetah? Three. Okay. Well, thank you, Robert. Thank you. Bye. And uh, last but not least, our last guest, Cody Britton. Now, Cody, what is your favourite animal? I like monkeys. Why do you like monkeys? Because, well, they just walk around and they're really cool because they go, oh, oh, ah, ah, and everything. I like them. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, what age was you when you liked these? Um, so I started when I was about five because I went to the zoo and I seen them and they're like, oh, ah, ah, and everything. It's really cool. Okay, now thank you. Now. Thank you for having me on the show. Now thank you for watching Wild Express. Good night. What's your favourite animal? My favourite animal is a lion. Why? Because I like the scary voices and stuff because it gives me like a big fright and I like frights. What's your favourite colour? Pink. Why pink? Because it's cool. Why is it cool? Because it's bright. It's nice, bright and colourful, yeah? What's your favourite? Do you, do you think it's fair to keep animals locked up in cages? Well, it helps them like survive from other animals and predators, but it's not really fair because they can't explore the wild and go on dangerous adventures. Do you think it's? Do you think they should be kept in zoos? Well, like I said, it keeps them safe from predators. And they also get fed instead of having to run around finding water and finding meat and fighting others. So, uh, sort of both, both, on the other hand, it's not really because they can't adventure and explore. Oh, come on. Um, do you think it's fair to keep animals in zoos? No, because they can't explore and it's hard for them. Do you think a predator is better than a herbivore? Than a what? A predator better than a herbivore? No. Why? Because just don't. Is it fair if a predator goes and attacks a herbivore and they just don't have a chance to fight back? No. When a plant grows, what would your like favourite bit about it be? Um, when it blooms. Why? Because it's like seeing something for the first time. There are currently approximately 8.7 million different species on the planet and we are still discovering new species every week. However, increasing human populations is resulting in loss of species through population, pollution and destruction of habitats, such as rainforests. Does this matter? Of course, we want to save our species. Uh, yeah, we, we love animals and we can't get, keep getting rid of them all for all our selfish needs. If you had two minutes to convince somebody why we should care, what would you say? I'd say that they're being selfish, that, that, that they're only thinking of themselves. There's lots of animals around this world and we're one of them. Would, did they like it if someone came to them and said, oh, we're just going to chop down your home? We really need to save our species and um, would you like it if we were killed um, because someone decided to destroy our homes instead? Some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from the wild and start captain breeding pro programs, even if the offspring will never be able to survive in the wild? Um, well, I'm not really sure on that because the offspring, it, they need to survive in the wild and they like help them and they try to make it more realistic in captivity, but sometimes it doesn't work and I think it's not very fair, really. 
Well, I think you could keep some endangered species in, to, um, in the wild and then some in captivity because we need to keep them, we need to keep breeding them otherwise they're going to become extinct but we, we mustn't get the whole population in a captivity so it will wreck their wild instincts. Do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? Um, well, they're good for children and adults to see what animals are like in the wild and in their environment. Not many people would see them uh, otherwise, would they? Um, I think that the zoos educate the children on what animals that they can't see are actually like and they help them understand that they need to take action and help save them. Thank you and good night. Hello and welcome to the latest episode on Young Science Reports. We're here in the Arctic and I've got two people that I want to ask questions to. So, first of all, in the latest BBC series called For Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around the climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Yes, because... Yes, because we we always use so much electricity the whole time. Great answer. Now, you. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea levels rise? I think it is because then all of the lands will flood and the polar bears will die and. They're a critically endangered species already. Oh, that's a very great answer. And now finally, for our last question. What can each of us do to help make a difference? We, we shouldn't use as much electricity and just keep down our heating bills. Yeah. As it's really cold here. Yeah, so that's been the latest episode of Young Science Report. <laughs> in the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Yes. <laughs> Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea levels rise? Yes, because if the sea levels rise, then we'll lose countries like Tuvalu. What can each of us do to help make a difference? Uh. <laughs> Stop producing that CO2 and um, stop being out in the Arctic. Thank you, Thomas. Back to the studio. What's your favourite animal? Dog. Why is it your favourite animal? Because they're kind and helpful. What's your favourite animal? A, a dog. Why is it, why is it your favourite animal? Because I've got one and it's adorable. What's your favourite animal? Um, a horse. Why do you like that animal the best? Because it's cute. What's your favourite animal? A meerkat. Why do you like the meerkat the best? Because they're cute. My favourite animals are a cat because they're really cute. I am here to interview Molly. Molly Broughton. What's your favourite animal? Dolphin. Why do you like dolphins? Because they're very cute, they're smooth and they feel like rubber. Can you do a dolphin impression? <laughs> Would you I am interviewing MMA, MMA Gillette. So MMA, what's your favourite animal? A monkey. Why do you like monkeys? Because they're cheeky like me. Can you do an impression of a monkey? What do monkeys sound like? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Do you know where monkeys can live? I think they live in the jungle. My favourite animal is a dolphin because I think they're really cute. My favourite animal is a monkey because they're known for being cheeky. My favourite animal is a crocodile because they can eat everything. My favourite like my favourite animal is a lion because they're very fearsome. My favourite animal is the squid because when they move they look really freaky. <laughs> it's cold.
called <laughs> in the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Yes. Yeah. Yes. They're making pollution. Do you want to expand on that? Um, no, yeah. Um, well, because well, we have so many cows and, um, and cars, it's like putting pollution in the air. Not really. <laughs> okay. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and sea levels rise? Yes, because it destroys the food chain. Everyone loves polar bears and it will be sad without them. We will be killing loads of animals if the sea levels rise and polar bears are awesome. <laughs> what can each of us do to help make a difference? Um, recycle. <laughs> um, not use as much energy. Cycle or walk to school. <laughs> That's it, now let's go get a coat. Hello, it's Katie Hamilton here and I am here to discuss um, the species on the planet and the pollution in the planet at the moment. What's your name? I'm Alana Greenin. I'm Maisie Heathcote. Well, to you guys, um, there are currently approximately 8.7 million different species on the planet and we're still discovering new species every week. However, increasing human populations is resulting in the loss of species through pollution and the destruction of habitats such as rainforest. Does this matter? I think it's a very serious subject. Why? Why? Well, it just is. <laughs> What's about you, Maisie? Um, I think we should all pull together and help the environment. How could we do this? Um, we could go around asking certain zoos and things like this to help. <laughs> Good idea. Um, if you had two minutes to convince someone why we should care, what would you say? It's not only going to affect the future, it's going to affect us right now. And you, Maisie? Um, well, in the future, our kids and our grandchildren will probably have to suffer from all this horrible pollution on the earth. So if we don't act now, we, don't, we can't save our grandchildren. Thank you, guys. Hopefully that's given you something to think about. That's all. <laughs> In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issues around climate change. Do you, re do you believe human activity is making it worse? Bella? Pardon? <laughs> do you believe hum human activity is making it worse in, in, the, in the BBC series called Frozen Planet? Um, no, I don't. Why don't you think that? She can explain. Do you? Um, well, I disagree to Bella for some reason. Okay. Human activity is disturbing them, Frozen apparently. Planet. Yeah. Okay. Now, Khadija, do you th does it really matter if we use, lose polar bears and the sea levels rise? It does matter because they're part of cr creatures in the Antarctic. Is that close to your heart, Khadija Shake? Yes, because I really like bears. Some species are extremely endangered in the world. Do you think it's right to take them into captivity and start breeding programs, even though some of them might not be able to survive in the wild? I believe that it is um, the right thing to do, take, take an endangered species from the wild and trapping them, trapping them, putting them into a selective breeding program, which allows them to give birth to more of the species, which later can be released back into the wild. Do you think it's, um, the zoos are useful and do you reckon they, they fulfil the purpose that they are serving? Um, I believe they do. It gives people a chance to uh, see the animals in an environment that best fits them in a different place. Okay, thank you. Some species in, are extremely endangered in the wild. Do you believe that it is right to take them from the wild and start uh, a captive breeding programmes, even if the offspring will never survive to be able to survive in the wild? We shouldn't have to take the animals out of the wild. We should sit in like, different places like um, nature reserves so they can learn to like, safely how to survive in the wild. And there will be natural habitat for them without um, humans destroying the habitat and which could intentionally kill off the species. Do you think zoos are useful and what purpose do you believe they serve? 
I believe it educates the children and the um, people that are unknown about the animals. It um, shows them what the animals are and what we will lose in the world if we don't help them. Welcome to Conserve Me Young Science Reporters. I'm Zara down here and we're going to be talking about rainforests. There are currently approximately 8.7 million different species on the planet and we are still discovering new species every, every week. However, increasing human population is resulting in the loss of species through pollution and the destruction of habitats such as rainforests. Does this matter? In my opinion, this does matter because if we're knocking down the rainforests and the trees, the animals that live there are being killed and that will make the, the population of the animals less and we get our things like like programs on TV and the amazing stuff that animals do, we won't get. If you had two minutes to convince someone why we should care, what would you say? I would say think about the future and think about what we get from animals, for example, fur and other things that we need in our daily life. And they are exact, animals are just like humans, because humans are animals as well. So you should think about them too. Thank you for watching Conserve Me Young Reporters. Some species are extremely endangered in the wild. Is it right to take them from the world and start captive breeding on programs even if, if its offspring will never be surviving in the wild? No, I don't think it's right. Neither do I. Neither do I. Definitely not. Why? Why? <laughs> because uh, people don't like animals that are killed. Okay. Well, I now hand over to our other expert interviewee, Eve Norman Long. Do you think zoos are useful? What purpose do they serve? No purpose. They just hurt animals and take them from their habitats. You? Um, I think the same as Rhiannon. I think the same as Rihanna and Azar. Why? Because they like keep them in a cage and they don't let them like run around like at a safari park. Um, same as Grace. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching Wild Endangered Species. Thank you and good night. Okay. <sighs> Hello fans. It's been two weeks since I've been on the earth's surface and I've just managed to climb this beautiful mountain uh, I mean the views have been spectacular I've been keeping a video diary behind me but uh, it's been a hell of a climb I just want to thank my family and my friends for, for inspiring me on and uh, for all the charities that I'm, I'm helping with this climb I would like to thank all you that have uh, donated money to my cause to uh, sick and needy children and I would just hope that you keep donating until all their little hearts keep beating. Thank you, this is Dylan Faulkner and this was Sport Relief. Chrissy, there are currently approximately 8.7 million different species on the planet and we are still discovering new species every week. However, increasing human populations is resulting in the loss of species through pollution and the destruction of habitats such as rainforests. Does this matter? Yes. <laughs> if you had two minutes to convince someone why we should care, what would you say? Potentially one of these species that we don't discover could have the secrets to some of our major diseases. Cancer, maybe it could cure the world or we could find a new energy source or a new way to preserve things. Brilliant, that was less than two minutes, but thank you anyway. In the latest BBC series called Frozen Planet, they highlighted the issue around climate change. Do you believe human activity is making it worse? Yes. What's your opinion? <laughs> yeah, I do. Which brings me on to my next question. Does it really matter if we lose polar bears and the sea levels rise? It does, yes. Yeah, it does because it's killing animals. What can each of you do to help us make a difference? Can you repeat the question, please? What can each of us do to help make a difference? We, we all donate some, some money into like, the schools. Like, we all have like, schools and like, donate money, like a pound, and it'll really help. We could cut down on um, climate change. 
Well, it's been a pleasure interviewing you too. <laughs> there are currently appro approximately 8.7 million different species on the planet, and we are still discovering new species every week. However, increasing human populations is resulting in the loss of species through po pollution and destruction of habitats, such as rainforest. Does this matter? Well, personally, I don't think it does matter because there's far more serious problems happening in the world every day. So I think we should focus more on them than on the rainforest. Personally, I think it does matter as we're killing habitats and loads of animals and it's not fair. If you had two minutes to convince someone why we should care, what would you say? Well, I would say that you don't need to worry about the rainforests just yet because there is still plenty of them. I'd say you would need to worry more about the things that do matter, such as, you know, the depth in the world and things like that. Well, I could do it in less than two minutes. I just think it's wrong and that people shouldn't do it. Thank you very much. <laughs>